Hey, hey, this this girl here, uh, Millennia. Let's zoom in here. She looks pretty good. Boy, does she love me. Wow, if only I had this much luck on Tinder. So uh, let's, uh, we'll try the, uh, the YouTube comments. Doesn't work too well, right? I just, shouldn't they all disappear since I say, hide this user comments from the channel. Oh uh, well, whatever. Delete, delete. All right, let's jump into this vlog. Hey guys, I just want to answer a quick question that was put to me on YouTube. Am I advocating now for Python st instead of PHP since I just did a Python course? No, I did a Python course because a lot of people were asking me for a Python course on YouTube and off of YouTube. As you may or may not know, my main thing in terms of the coding anyway is not YouTube. YouTube is more or less a hobby, although it's been kind of cool in other ways as well. But I did the Python course simply because people wanted a Python course from me. And so I did it. Do I think Python is the best language uh, ever invented? No, I think it's a great language, has a lot of pluses. I don't think any one particular language is overall better than any other of the languages is out there. They're all good. Java, C Sharp, uh, Ruby, Python, PHP, JavaScript, they all, and many others, Swift, they all bring something to the table. It just depends on what you want to do. Python is a great first language to learn because the code, the Python code itself, is kind of easy to read. It reads more like English than like code. And Python is a general purpose language, so you can go in all kinds of different directions with it. But in terms of web app creation, PHP, in my opinion, for most people is still king because of the environment. Uh, PHP has a huge ecosystem in that regard. And uh, because PHP runs much faster at runtime than Python, runs much faster than Ruby, Ruby on Rails, much faster, much faster. And uh, just to get your app up and running with PHP on the web is simpler, traditionally speaking, than Python because Python is created as a general purpose language and not necessarily specific for web apps, there's a little bit more plumbing you have to do to get your Python app, app live on the web, whereas PHP, PHP is simply a web app creation language, so to get your PHP app live on the web is trivial. You just upload your PHP page and that's it, it's done. So. To answer that question, no, I'm not saying PHP, forget PHP now, or Python is the king. No, I'm just, I did it because people asked me for it, and P, Python has its role. You could do web apps with Python, it'd be great. Uh, a lot of people don't, though, use Python for AI, robotics, and other things. So I just figured I'd put out a Python course because a lot of people are asking me for it. I have a different philosophy about teaching code than what you see out there. And my philosophy is about, all about super solid foundations. And that's what I teach. Once you have the foundations, everything else comes super easy after that. Uh, and my philosophy is based on the fact that I've been teaching since 2003. I studied psychology of learning in university, and I come from a family of teachers. My father taught his most of his career. Many of my aunts and uncles were teachers. Uh, many of my cousins are teachers, like five or six of us. And uh, we were never encouraged to become teachers. It just sort of happens in the blood, if you will. So that's why I teach. Anyhow, I'll just leave you to emphasize again, I don't think any particular language is overall better than any other language. It's all very specific to what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. I hope that helps. Bye-bye. One last thing. Yes, if you want to get into freelancing, I am under the impression, I'm of the opinion that the best and easiest way to get into freelancing in terms of coding, it's PHP. There's no question about that, it's PHP because you got, you got this huge ecosystem of WordPress uh, sites, small business sites, and small businesses are going to be hand hiring independent freelancers, and Joomla and Drupal, these are all uh, big three CMSs, the three big CMSs, and what they're written, they're written in Python. No, they're written in PHP. So knowing PHP is, is key to that. A lot of shopping cart apps are created with PHP. So just having PHP uh, in your back pocket in terms of freelancing, to me, is the way to go. And again, in terms of freelancing, if you want to get into AI and robotics, machine learning, it's Python, right? If you want to get into enterprise development, it's either Java Spring or ASP.NET C Sharp.
you're getting the idea. What you want to do dictates which language you want to learn. Just try to keep that in mind. People are always trying to think, what's the best one? It's all circumstantial. It's like, what's the best type of automobile? Is it a Porsche 911 or is, is a minivan? Well, if you want to haul 20 people, you're not going to use the Porsche because the Porsche got these tiny seats. In the Porsche 911, you can put like a, a little tiny dog in the back seat. That's about it. So sometimes the minivan's better than the Porsche, although I would not drive a minivan personally. But I'm just saying, you know, same thing with programming languages. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.